So, hello and welcome to another episode of Ayimba Conversations. Today we are here with Tomoyuki Ueno. I hope I pronounced it right. Tomoyuki Ueno, yeah, right. To Tomoyuki Ueno. So, um, he's an artist from Japan and of course today we are talking about his life, um, his artworks and of course his adult adulthood and maybe childhood too. Oh, we are going to talk about his childhood too. So um, stay tuned with us and um, let's get it on. So welcome first of all to Muyuki. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much for being here. We are very happy and delighted to have you here. Um, the first question that I yeah. ask everybody about art is like, What's your passion? Why do you do it? And why did you choose? Or was it a, ch a choice in any way? But why do you do art? Um, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's well, nice I, I even don't know what is art. But uh, if I knew it, maybe. Uh, why art? Or why, why I'm doing art? If I knew it, I would already finish my artwork. I mean, okay. I made final piece and I would be satisfied. But okay. I, actually I'm not, so that's why I'm making my artworks. And also that's why sometimes my tema is what is art, yeah. actually. Yeah. Uh, I made the fossil sculptures. Uh, it's, I, I carved, uh, how to say, a uh, rose window next yeah. to the ammonite. Yeah. So it's, uh, one side is fossil and one side it's which I carved. So it's compared with um, carving and it's, it's cavation. So my artworks are quest questioning uh, what is art. Okay. So maybe it's, I'm not answering, but I'm questioning what okay. is art. What is art? Yeah. That's a nice answer. I haven't, uh, you're the first person that is putting it on that level or on that, yeah, on that level, let me say it like this, because most of the time people always say like, it started during my childhood times oh, yeah. and I was, I mean, I love it, I love doing it, but, and you also said like uh, you, you you don't you don't know what art is. No, <laughs> you don't know. So you you basically don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Yes. Oh, okay. But maybe that's, that's why I'm enjoying it. That's why you're enjoying yeah. it. Yeah, and also I'm interested in changing the context or meaning. Okay. For example, uh, my another artworks um, marble with photos. So the left side is marble. Yeah. So if you see. Only left side in a like a, a DIY shop, mm. it's just a marble. It's not yeah. artwork. It's not an artwork. Yeah. But if I put next to the photos, the photos then yeah. it will be it become um, becomes artwork. Yeah. So even if it's the same material, the context will be changed. So I think it it is kind of play. Okay. How you can make art or how it can be art. Okay. Yeah. So, but you still haven't given me any, any definition, but okay, I'll work with that. It's, it's okay. So let's, let's, let's jump, jump to, the, to, a, to a place where, where your life started. Yeah. I mean, tell us something about, about you, your life, yeah. where you were born, and um, maybe some, some script about how you've been raised and where, of course. Oh, s such a long history. <laughs> yeah, we, we, got, we got a bit of time. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, I come from Kobe. Kobe in Japan. It's next to Osaka and Kyoto. Yeah. And I had studied uh, actually media arts at the first uh, close to Kyoto. Then uh, fine arts, uh, Master of Fine Arts in Tokyo. Then uh, I was one year in Stuttgart, mm. then moved to Berlin uh, 11 years ago. 11 years ago? Yes. Okay, a long time. Then I had studied media arts again. 
But actually, I'm making such, how do you say, primitive <laughs> artworks. <laughs> Maybe I, I need some materials. Um, or is there a thing that you can call primitive nowadays? <laughs> I mean, everything is everything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, many years ago, uh, well, when I was in Japan, um, I was BJ, video jockey. Mm -hmm. uh, not DJ, but uh, playing with videos. Videos, yeah. So I was always working with uh, computers and also for media arts. But uh, somehow I felt strange because even I was making artworks, there's nothing to touch. Mm. Well, I felt nothing, no realities. So that's why um, I'm using such massive uh, materials, I think. Okay. Yeah. So basically you switched from that untouchable digital yeah. space yes. to that concrete space where you can, where you have work, where yes. you have like something to grab and something that is heavy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think nice. for me, uh, material, also the existence of material or reality is more important. More important? Yes. Than the, the, than the digital one. I mean, digital is getting more and more important to, to everybody's life right Yes, now. but digital is uh, as, how to say, as a process, mm. it's useful, it's, it's, it would be nice. Yeah. But digital art, uh, I also, yeah, I'm editing uh, digital photos, but um, just process. Okay. So the results are always uh, material. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. So I never been to Japan before. So tell me, tell me more about your life in Japan. Japan. I mean, it's on my bucket list, of course. I want to go there and visit uh, the people and get to know the culture, of course. Yeah. Um, so whenever I go there, what can I expect from? How are the people? How how did you experience Japan? And why did you move out? Okay. Um, Japan is tiny, long islands. So the middle is always mountains, but both sides are sea. Okay. So each city, is, each city has mountain and uh, sea. Mm. So you always can enjoy seafood, but also uh, fruits or vegetables. Mm. And also, Japan is long to north to south. Yeah. So north is very cold, but south is very uh, tropical. Mm. So yeah, <clears throat> you can enjoy uh, four seasons. Mm. And, but at the same time, um, the art market is in Japan is not so big. Okay. People use money for clothes, as well, I mean, fashions or cars or houses or interiors, but not for the arts. Maybe people don't have um, idea to buy arts. Mm -hmm. So, but in Germany, just how do you say, ordinary people buy arts. Yeah. When, when they buy new flat, then they buy pictures. So Berlin or Germany is more, how do you say, um, nice city for the artist. Okay. Yeah. Is that the reason why you moved here? Is that... Or is I it, think so, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as artist, yes. Yeah, because you said you were in, uh, you lived in Stuttgart. Yeah, for yeah, how yeah. long? And, and Stuttgart was just one, for one year. For one year, okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I moved to Berlin because um, Berlin is one of the most important uh, city for the artist uh, in Europe. Mm. And actually, I was planned uh, to live in Berlin for one, two years. Yeah, but yeah, compared with Japan, Berlin is, how to say, more artist or art city, yeah. but still difficult, <laughs> still not easy. Uh, uh, now I'm working with some galleries, yeah. but it took uh, a lot of time, time to, to yes. yes. But that's, that's amazing that you're saying this because I see a lot of 
artists, artistry coming from, from Japan. Yeah. Even animation and ah, yes. uh, all sort of things like, uh, like illustration, yes. uh, movies yeah. and so many things, so many artistry, uh, art, artistic works are coming from Japan. That's yeah. why it's, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's not hard to believe, but it's like, I would have thought that Japan is the like a creative hub for yeah. for like a lot of people like to go there and to be yes, there. Yes. So are you are you basically talking about like the works that are hanging on the wall that people don't buy or what kind of artwork do you do you mean? I mean you say you don't know what art is anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> the question is like I don't know how the question to put the question. You mean you mean art in Japan? Yeah. Right? Um, so in Japan, um, how do you say, I think the artworks in Japan are very uh, fine, satis how, how do you say, sophisticated. sophisticated. Okay. Yeah. But uh, conceptually it's not, um, how do you say, arts, arts, okay. not, not, not contemporary arts. So you have a definition of art. <laughs> <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> so so you, you do have a definition for yourself what art yeah, is yeah. or what not? Um, Japan had a long uh, art history yeah. until first war, yeah, almost I think, first uh, World War. Mm. So, like uh, Hokusai, uh, Katsushika Hokusai, Hokusai Katsushika like uh, Japanese wood printing mm. or uh, how to say black uh, calligraphies. Yes. But uh, after the modern, modernism, Japan, how to say, cut the history. Mm. It's not developing like Europe. Mm. Just cut, then changed to European, like a Europeanized okay. culture. Yeah. So, Contemporary fine arts is not so, how to say, uh, Japa, how to say, Japanized <laughs> yet. <laughs> so so yet. It's, not, it's not really like, it's not, it's not depicting the Japan culture. It's yes, like, yes, yes. It's like more like an, a European culture that is that is put on the Japan, yeah, yeah, the Japan yeah, culture too. Yeah. So it's not depicting the, the, the real culture or the history of, of Japan. Yeah. Okay, no, I get it. Yeah. Oh, that's somehow sad, but yeah, it's also somehow. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's why I'm, I'm in, in, in uh, Berlin. Yeah? yeah, because you felt that? Yeah, um, so yeah, I have to know what is art because yeah. in Japan it's difficult <laughs> to, 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 know. Learn, yeah, to know. Okay, yes. nice. Yeah. Beautiful. I was, it was a nice, nice. It's, it's a nice thing to hear from an artist mm -hmm. that you don't know what art is, yeah. basically. Yeah, you are, so you're basically just trying to find out yeah. where your niche is. So, if you say you don't know what art is, do you have a definition, or not really a definition, but how, where did you would you put your art? Where would you put it? Where would you say, okay, I'm, I'm located over here, I'm located over there. Where would you, I mean, are you a photographer mm. or a sculpturist? Yeah. How, what, what, how would you describe your art? I think, um, yeah, recently I'm thinking that for me it's important to find the material, find, yeah, find materials by myself. Yeah. Like uh, not not from uh, DIY shop, um, so uh, I went to South Germany to find um, fossils by myself, or uh, I'm making now uh, installations by branches. Mm. Um, uh, so many materials which you can buy in DIY shop mm. is already. How do you say? Polished. Yes. Or, or yeah. cut. Already made, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But for me, it's more important to make the materials or to find 
materials from so, the nature. Yeah, from raw material that is yeah. un, un, yeah, unhumanized, <laughs> I would say. Yeah, it, it is more crea creative, I yeah. think. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But we're going to talk about your work anyway, so you, yeah. can, you can give us some more insight so it's about where you find that and uh, how do you get that idea, yeah. basically. So. Uh, um, so these artworks, left side is uh, sky sculptures, mm. uh, marble with photo of the skies. Yeah. And uh, right side is wave sculptures, marble, marble with uh, photos of the waves. Mm. And but let's, let's just move on and just go on and talk, talk okay. about your artworks because that's the second part of this conversation and uh, stay tuned with us. We're going to move on and uh, this time we're going to cut it in two pieces. So if you want to continue to watch, please uh, go on and watch the second part of this episode and we are delighted to have you back. See you. <laughs>